A heist at a gun store in South Jersey, and now police are searching for the burglars caught on surveillance video here, ransacking the shop, stealing guns and ammo. Steve Keeley has the latest from Marlton. The gun store is the newest business in this years-long strip mall here on Route 70. Urban Technical Firearms of South Jersey only opened four months ago. And long-term business owners tell me that they've been here for years and this is the first crime that's ever happened here. They were in and out of the business in less than two minutes. And they went to option two to get in, as you see in the surveillance video. At first, they attempted to use a hammer to break the glass. That was ineffective. And they then um, used a landscaping rock that was brought with them um, uh, to commit the burglary. The rock was thrown through the front door. Then they used that rock again. They used the same landscaping rock to break the, the glass within the business. The shattered glass front door and cases set off alarms, motion detectors, and surveillance. They knew they were on a clock and knew they were on video. So they came in, covered up, and got out real quick. Not getting greedy, not taking too much. Taking just four handguns, one long gun, and ammo. Then taking off real quick in the white Hyundai Elantra that police suspect was stolen first based on how the four burglars got in and out of it. We believe that that vehicle was possibly stolen based on the fact that the uh, suspects exited the vehicle through the windows without opening the doors. Federal ATF agents came here yesterday to get a look at the information on the five guns stolen. There's been some similar type burglaries in Pennsylvania um, that could be possibly related. And as with all gun store heist, investigators realize gun stores aren't hit by people wanting to use the guns for target practice, but for violent crimes. We'd like to identify this group and recover those firearms before they're used to hurt or injure an innocent person. The stores closed today as a repairman came to fix all the damage. Police say they're talking to the gun store business owner and his property landlord about possibly making this gun store more secure to prevent another break-in. In Marlton, Steve Keeley, Fox 29 News.